uh, when, when George was on the hard, was catching up and had so, shown really strong pace. Maybe for a second we thought about it, but you mustn't be too greedy. No, but by his own admission, perhaps a few too many mistakes today, do you think, Toto? Yeah, there's on one side this brilliance in, uh, in, in, in today's race and, uh, and then on the other side maybe there was a one or two that, that we could have avoided. And uh, We heard you over the, the, the radio, I think you said, focus George, focus. Uh, how much back and forth do you tend to have with him when he's uh, you know, in the race like this? I think that was maybe never on the past in that corner, but as a driver you sometimes you know what makes it that afterwards. But do you think that the time he lost, because then Lewis got in front of him, the time he lost there, was that what could have been a battle for the for the win? Yeah, I think P2 was, was on at the end. Uh, I don't know whether Lando had an issue or was dropping off or just took it easy, but um, maybe we could have been ahead another position without that. So, and then the zoo cost, cost, cost Lewis three seconds also by coming out of the pits and blocking the racing line. So, you know, what could have been is, is not relevant. I think most important is that, the, that, the, that we provide a quick car to the drivers. What's also great to see from a fan's perspective, you've always said it, you, you, your teammates are, are free to race each other, but you must have had a, a little bit of a, a nervous twitch on towards the end there where they were going at it. Close. So I think we debate whether or not is Red Bull losing something? Is everybody gaining? In your opinion, do you feel like everyone has gained on them or have they lost something along the way? Obviously, Max just won today, but you know, he hasn't sort of been his normal, it hasn't been the normal Red Bull so far. Yeah, the last few races were more difficult for them and uh, I think everybody has been making good steps forward. Uh, today there was uh, uh, two, three teams that could have potentially won the race, maybe uh, we not quite, um, but I don't know whether whether they've made a step backwards or we, so the most important is that it's shrinking. For the first time in, what, two or three years, we've seen a car that was glued to the ground where the, the drivers could exploit and do whatever they wanted with it, which is normally what we see Max with Red Bull. Now we saw it with your two cars. Was that track-related, or is the car like that now for the coming races? I hope it's not track-related. Uh, Montreal is, is the outlier, also that mid-range corner speed and uh, change of directions. But overall, the driver said the car is now in a, in a space that they can push it, they have more confidence, and therefore, uh, you know, obviously everything becomes much easier. Uh, last one from me, as we said, we're getting into the, the, this triple header in a fortnight's time, and some tracks you might think might favor Red Bull. Uh, what's your thoughts on, on that? Do you think that we've had a few outliers that have allowed people to get a little bit closer? Do you think they may, when it comes back to the European season, start to edge ahead again? Maybe Barcelona will be interesting, uh, whether they can, whether they are strong there. I mean, Austria was always their territory. Then they say that McLaren was strong the, the, in the last year when they had their comeback. So that was never a good one for us. So, yeah, I think we, you can't uh, discount Max and, and the Red Bulls. They are, they are still the benchmark. They're right up there. But McLaren has made huge steps. And then don't forget Ferrari. They were not visible today. But, uh, you know, if it was two weeks ago, they were the benchmark. So it's four teams um, that are competitive now.